You guys, it is Mary and, and we invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment. down below, you guys. And we invite you all to join us tomorrow, Sunday, because we are going to be going live about the Becoming Sister Wives book. We are going to be doing a review of either chapter one or chapter two, and we are going to sit down and talk about it and kiki with our girlfriends via the YouTube, <laughs> the internet. So you guys join us for that, um, and we are going to go ahead and yeah. talk about Gwen reviewing Sister Wives episode eight. Yeah. And you know what? I thought it was very interesting because we're going to talk about something specifically. We're going to yeah. talk about did Cody have too much pride, you know, when it came to trying to make it work with Christine? Because apparently, from what Gwen said, yeah. that, you know, she thought that she thought it was very, she was very upset that Cody just Cody's pride really killed this relationship. Basically, for sure. But Dude. she basically was upset with him because she was like, you know, um, Mary has said that, you know, I told Cody to leave because he wasn't giving me what I wanted and he just never came back. Yeah. And she was like, that's so wrong of him because there were so many times that he forced his way back into my mom's house. Meaning, she had kicked his ass out a couple of times, <laughs> honey. So and he comes, probably like, I, I'm coming because you're still my wife. Yeah. Gosh darn it, you're still my wife and I'm here. I'm here. We're going to make it work, this dysfunctional relationship. We're going to make family work. And I need to see my children. Where's Isabel? Where's Gwendolyn? <laughs> Where is Julie? That's when the kids matter. You know. So mm. I just thought that whole thing was just a mess. Because my thing is, if you have been forcing, obviously, if the fact that Gwen said that you have you forced your way back into the home several different several times, times, why didn't you do that with Mary? Because you never wanted to be there. No. So my thing is, if you were forcing your way back in, why didn't why you, you just do have right? Pride? Why didn't you just do right? The pride. That's why. And he did not do right. And even Cody was talking about how, oh, you know, I have an emotional attachment to um, Christine. And she said, well, why I couldn't know. you just be a good husband? Girl, don't let me choke on my tea. <laughs> <laughs> and you were eating some Indian food. You I know. You almost choked I when was you heard like, that. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating my chicken tikka masalina I when I was um, watching that. <laughs> but, yeah, so I was just like, you know... I really just felt like Cody just really just he you dropped just the dropped ball. the ball. You That's what the I was ball. Trying to say. Like you had so too much pride, and you know the saying, "Pride goeth before a fall." Christine gave you all of these chances. When a woman gets to a point that she's actually putting you out, she's trying to have a physical now detachment from you. Yeah. And That's usually always the last. to get rid of that emotional attachment from you. She doesn't even want you there. Personally, like, I... Like, that's a huge red flag from, for you to really step up your shit or it's going to be over. No, I actually, on the contrary, mm -hmm. I actually believe women leave men emotionally and mentally before they do physically. Because, like, mm -hmm. in your mind, you kind of, like, are, like... Because, I mean, for a while, she had left Cody. Emotionally and mentally, she had was leaving him. She yeah. had lost respect for Cody. She, she wasn't, um, was it? She didn't want him around her anymore. Yeah. She was basically saying that he's not doing the right things. He wasn't coming around either. Yeah. Like, she was losing respect for him. Yeah. She was losing love for him. And then yeah. she was also just losing, like, this need of having him around. And yeah. then when she went to that surgery or whatever for yeah. Isabel, she realized, oh, my God, I actually actually don't need this man yeah so all of that and then she finally did when he decided oh um let's have intimacy because that was the only thing keeping her there well we does he still want to have an actual real marriage with me yeah. which is the intimacy yes. and when she said no oh bet because oh. she had already left him emotionally and mentally like, like everything oh, okay, else she had been like she had crossed that out with a red pen mm. and was like He's not doing this. He's not doing this. He's not doing this. He's not doing this. Let me check and see if maybe our intimacy, if that's another if thing. That's still there. And he said no. She said, oh, <laughs> let me throw the whole list and burn it. Matter of fact, give me the lights in the match. It is over. It is over. That's do what I think. think. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that a woman leaves a man emotionally first? That's a good question. Before the physical? I think they do. do you do. think they leave them physically first before the emotional? I think it could sometimes, maybe it could be mm. either or. I feel like Please when... Please let us know and your reasoning for thinking that. You know, I personally, I think most of the time, yeah. it is emotionally or mentally. Yeah. I feel like in cases when it's physically, like they leave physically, it's maybe yeah. because they, like they really need that space first mm -hmm. so that they can really 
up and leave. Like they need to gather that strength. Yeah. Like for me personally, I am someone who You're someone you'll leave emotionally first. No, I'll leave physically first. first. Yeah. But then I'll still be like tossing and turning yeah. in my head, like maybe this could have worked, maybe this yeah. couldn't have. So I feel like I struggle with that. Yeah. But when I rather leave physically first, instead of I feel like it's easier to leave emotionally and mentally first because then it's easier to heal. Yeah. But it's when you easier, leave physically you can leave emotionally first. I know, but when you leave physically, it's like then you have to deal with all the emotional stuff That's and you're kind of there. second guessing yourself yeah. so it's harder to heal. Yeah. I feel like it's been easier for Christine to heal because she was she had left him emotionally. She had, emotionally. Out emotionally. She had realized that so. she had done every single thing she needed to do. Yeah. And she had realized that he was I not doing so. all this stuff. Yeah. That's why it was so easy for her to detach him. Like yeah. she was like she kept yeah. it moving. Yeah, Where, I think so. Whereas I with me, so. I'll be like, Okay, I'm leaving. I'll be like, Oh well let me come back and yeah. then like it'll be, it'll be like yeah, a and couple some of women times. do that too. It you know takes what I'm saying? So long. I, I certainly did that a lot. Yeah. You know, before you can actually totally detach. I think you're a physical com- person before completely. emotional and mentally. You know, I think that for like for like men, I think for them they kind of equate the emotional part like what we equate with the emotional part, yeah, they think of that as a physical part, right? So as long as this woman is still being intimate with me in their minds, yeah, she still loves me. Yes, you know what I'm yes, saying? yes, so yes, yes, yes. That's why they say men are from Venus. That book, men are from Venus. Venus women are from Mars. Women are from Mars. Oh, I couldn't agree more. We're oh, totally men are different. From Mars and women are from Venus because for a man, he feels like if I can just be with her physically. Yeah. Then I know I still got her. Absolutely. By how it is physically. Absolutely. I and absolutely. That's 100%. a downfall. It is a downfall. A woman is able to be physical <laughs> without putting emotionally there, especially if she's a she has emotionally detached from you. Yeah. She can still be with you physically. That I know for sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. <laughs> so uh. yeah. With Christine, so I think you're Obama. right. So I really think <laughs> you're right about that. That she had left, she had left him. Yeah, so it was easy now. Yeah, I when think she, she said, had already. Once he put that nail in the coffin. Yeah. Of uh, well, I, I I don't think so. That we'll be intimate again. And she's like, oh, okay, bad. Just. I think giving her the, the nail, strength. the the last nail for her to just nail that coffin and be like, oh, okay, boom. Yeah, because she it. was still it's maybe over. trying to peek inside the coffin yeah. just to see, oh, is the intimacy still going to yeah. be there? Yeah. No, oh, that's no. what she said. Please bring, oh. the, bring the coffin down six feet under because yeah. this relationship is dead. It's, it's over. Yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> okay. Or but look, that's rest so in, in pieces. Oh. <laughs> the way, I mean, look, if you have Cody say it, he'd be like, she rested me in pieces. But she is really like, I'm going to leave you in peace. That's you know really saying? an interesting thing. But he's probably topic. thinking she rested me in pieces. Because I'm all broken. You know, he took how many how many weeks on COVID. Ju- ju- not just for COVID. Yeah. But also because he said he was getting over this divorce. That he still hasn't got it over. Yeah, I think he was still... Then he tried to blame Janelle for not giving him empathy. And giving her her, his, her breast for him to lay his head on. But that's why Cody actually believed that they were still together. Because she was still maybe... Physically, he was still there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But she had already left him emotionally and yeah. mentally. Yeah. But because he well, remember that discussion they had, he was trying to say that, um, well, we have been intimate, and she said twice a year is not enough. <laughs> she called him on his stuff. That was embarrassing. Twice a year. Twice is, a year. Yeah, not enough. God forbid. Okay, that's not intimacy to me. That's not intimacy. Enough. That's that's that's. That's a situation ship. That's an F buddy you will see once in a while. That ain't no marriage. Know, yeah, that's certainly not a marriage. No. Like marriage. Um, and actually, it was Michelle Duggar that really gave me an idea of this whole marriage thing. Which I thought was really... I, I, I actually do really actually like most of the Duggars. Yeah, I like And too. I actually really admire Michelle Duggar. But she had said... She had made this comment that... You know, a woman, you have to think about the fact that you guys are only going to be each other's sexual partner for the rest of your life. Yeah. Right? And so she was talking about the importance of being available 
physically for your partner. Personally, I because actually believe Because it's always yeah. going to be, this is the only partner you're going to have. He's not going to get be able to go get this from another woman. You're not going to be able to go get this from another man. That's the one thing you as a wife are able to do for him and he's able to do for you exclusively. You know, so and when you, you said that, I was like, that makes so much sense. Open, and I know sometimes, you know... I feel when like we there, get are, upset there are there are cases other, for like sure in, in marriage when yeah. we get upset with each other in marriage. That's sometimes the first thing that goes right. Yeah. Oh well, fine. I'm not doing anything with you. But really, now when I think about it, I feel like it's good to actually turn to it towards each other, even if you're not really feeling it, and being there for each other. Yeah. Because you never know that could be something that helps you all to even kind of squash whatever you all are arguing about. You know, so um, I mean, I feel like personally that is so important. I yeah. definitely think that you definitely should. I mean, I mean, obviously there are some cases where you just can't childbirth. Please stay away from me for at least a month because I'm healing. <laughs> I think so I've been ripped and torn apart and shredded. Yeah. Do not I think touch me for a month. The doctor says six weeks. Yeah. yeah. So that's like a month and a half. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think definitely childbirth. I mean, cancer, if you're sick or whatever, of Absolutely. course, in those cases, yeah. then hey, it's hands off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I mean, yeah. like, if it's like some petty argument, I mean, do you, I mean, I don't know. Personally, if a man, if my man has been cheating, I don't think I'm opening myself up to that. No, no. cheating is the end of the marriage. Well, <laughs> well, cheating is the end of the relationship. Hold on, wait. Sorry. Now. For me personally, I never have. I mean, but yeah, it's, it's it. <laughs> your look on your face was hilarious. I, I, will, like, I certainly will not tell any woman hanging there with the guy after he cheated on you. Yeah, no. Um, because I, I just feel as though that's such an awful thing to do. But personally, I've never really. I don't know. I always feel as though cheating is says more about the guy, whoever is, if the person whoever is cheating says more about what's going on with them. Than the actual relationship. I think so, absolutely. But but that also However, means to me I that will not tell you any obviously woman to stay yeah. in any or the man to stay in any relationship if your partner is cheating. But you know, also I think I don't it's a think violation of the relationship. Even though the man cheating has nothing to do with you, I do believe that's still grounds for you to leave. Even though it has yeah, nothing absolutely. to do with you, that absolutely. means he obviously has some issues going on with himself eternally yeah. that he has to fix. And you you can't be any good for me if you're not good to yourself. So why am I staying? So even if it ain't got nothing to do with you, you gotta leave because that brother um, ain't right in the head. And we're not in rehab centers for you to come and figure your shit out. You yeah, no. Have that figured out before you married me. Me. you married sh- me. You know, it's like what Tierra and Russell say. You know, and I think and and, was they said that you know when we come together, we are not coming with our glasses half, waiting for you to pour into me. No, we're coming not. with our glasses full exactly. and abundance. Yeah. I'm continuously pouring into you. You're continuously pouring into me, yes. and we're filling and we're up a bowl. Overflowing. We're overflowing yes. all the time. But yes. I, you're not coming to me with some little spit water, no. talking about come fill my my my, my, my plastic bottle up. No. no, like no, please take that down the highway down to corner ninety eight. <laughs> so yeah, but I yeah. think that Cody had—he just had way too much pride. Like there yeah. are so many moments, just like he said in one of his confessionals. Maybe you know I could just fix this if I had yeah. just maybe listened to her. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, if I just talked to her, it was so—it was little that Christine was asking for. It really wasn't much. She was asking to be equal. You know, and she was just asking to spend time with me. You know, Show when up, I'm upset about present. something, understand me, listen to me. That's one of the things I liked about the guy with the five wives. Yeah. He had all these women in crime, which I thought was way too much. But anytime they had time with him, they break down in tears. How do you enjoy your life <laughs> And I'm that just way? like, uh, you see this man once every five days. If you go come see once every five days, we are knocking the boots. We are thoroughly enjoying ourselves. Like, we are not wasting time on my tears. I will go cry to my sister wives. Yeah. Let them take the burden of that. Yeah. But I will not be there crying with him. That's a waste of time. One of our subscribers but, said that, that the wives actually seem starved for attention. And I couldn't agree more. Which one? Oh, the five. The, my five wives. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You're starved for attention. You finally get it. He's well, here in your room. Why are you crying? <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, what are you crying about? But sometimes people about? act like they're in pain or they're really sad to get attention. I mean, I don't know if you want that type of attention, but hey. I mean, okay. I guess it's... Ex- well, okay, I, 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 mean, I, I hear I get that. that. I hear that. I mean, it's I just like that. Robin. <laughs> you know, 
Uh, yeah. I, I don't know what I am. She has oh, nothing else to give to Cody. <laughs> so, I mean, but then he's like, that's how he turned on her. You see, the relationship you have is she's treating you like crap from the beginning. You see how emotional he I got. Know. You With know? The knife and the kidney stuff. But yeah. Wasted. <laughs> Crazy. Drama. I can't wait for Gwen to review that. I hope she has not skipped it because if she has, I'll be very upset. Yeah, we can look at it later today and see. Yeah, I have to see what episode. If y'all know what episode was, please let us know. No, this Um, is episode eight. Okay. Oh, you mean for the knife and the kidneys? Yes, honey. But yeah, y'all, it's very. I think we do agree that it was his pride. Yeah. He could have fixed this a long time ago. What do you all think? And I think it can be either or for women, you know, whether they leave emotionally or mentally first or yeah. physically. I think it just depends on who you are. Well, let us know what you think. Yes. Um, but it's Mary. And Alma. You bet you to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Down below. Bye. Bye.